If you're on the internet, and I suspect you are, you've probably seen those discussions about how Frodo and company could have ended the whole ring threat with one quick eagle ride into a volcano. That's Joe Abercrombie's take on fantasy, in a nutshell. Abercrombie's characters are flawed, sometimes weak, often witty, but always pragmatic. His first law series is Sword and Sorcery as filtered through The Godfather. Think Terry Pratchett as filmed by Quentin Tarantino. In a series in which a misshapen torturer is our protagonist, you might not like what the characters are doing, but you really can't help but admire their ability to get it done. His most recent work is the fantasy western Red Country, but his signature color is a morally ambiguous gray. Given that shortened ring saga, I can't help but imagine the Abercrombie take on other fantasy classics. If he'd written the Narnia books, the White Witch would have marched down to her parlay with Aslan right into an ambush. Boom. One swipe. Lion Chow. A Joe Abercrombie Harry Potter book would see Hermione and Ron Weasley shaking down young students for lunch money, while Hagrid skimmed off their profits. If Abercrombie wrote Game of Thrones, he'd... Well, okay, there really wouldn't be much difference there, would there? But maybe some of the characters we like might have lived. If Joe Abercrombie had written The Wizard of Oz... Huh. Maybe we should just stop right there.